in our this slide we will be discussing about the quick shot in quick shot we actually use divide and conquer method it is an algorithm of divide and conquer type this is the problem of sorting a set when the set is reduced and divided into two smaller parts and this two smaller parts are then been sorted so here we can see what is actually done that the array has been taken and we take one pivot element so here uh, generally the first element of the array is taken as the pivot element and it is been sorted in such a manner that this pivot element will be at one location of the array in which it is the particular location of that pivot element that is from the left side of the array there will be elements less than the pivot element and the from the right side of the array there will be elements greater than the pivot element so we will be doing some steps or we will be performing some steps according the quick shot algorithm in which the pivot element here itself 25 will find its location in the array or will find its position in the array so how it will be done we will be discussing that thing so the steps for this are we will be taking one start part and we will be taking one end part the start part will start from the first element or lower bound of the array and which and in the end part it will start from the upper bound that is at the end part of the array so what are the steps we will be following now in the start part we will be moving from left to right if the element is less than the pivot element then the start position will be incremented by 1 and if the element is greater than the pivot element or the start incrementation stops there so all in all we will make a comparison between the pivot element and the elements over the array if the pivot element 25 is smaller or equal to the pivot element then the position or the pointer will be moved one step forward if again 52 is lesser than the pivot element then the position of i will be incremented by one position but if the value that is for example here 52 is greater than the pivot element that is 25 then the incrementation is going to stop there at the next part we will be starting from the end part at end part it is going to move from right to left similarly if the element at the end part is greater than the pivot element then the end position so here we have taken the starting position as i and the end position as j so if the element is greater than the pivot element then the end position will be decremented by 1 j will be decremented by 1 but if the element is less than the pivot element then the end position decremination dec decremination stops there so here we have to keep a track that at the starting part either the element is less or equal and at the end part either the element is greater than the pivot element so we will see the next step what we are going to do by one example or by the algorithm here the algorithm says 
first to initialize that the top is null if top is equal to null then we have to go to step 8 that we will be exiting that our array or our stack is empty so if it is not equal to null we will come to step 2 here if n is greater than 1 then top will be incremented by 1 and if lower is equal lower's first position is equal to 1 then the upper's first position will be n so at the third step we will repeat step 4 to 7 while top is not equal to null at step 4 what are the steps to be repeated that we will set the lower's top position as the beginning and upper stop position as the end and we will be removing one element from the stack that is top minus one here we will be calling the quick shot function in which we have the value a the total number of elements n the beginning the end and finally the location where we will find the pivot elements position at step 6 if beginning is less than location minus 1 then top will be incremented by 1 and the beginning will be set as lower stop and the location minus 1 will set as upper stop so at step 7, if the location plus 1 is greater than end or end is greater than location plus 1, then top will be incremented by 1. The location plus 1 is equal to lower stop and at the last, the end will be the upper stop. So, this is going to continue until the top is not equal to null once the top is equal to null we will come out of the loop and we will exit so this is the algorithm of quick shot in our next part we will be learning about merging the operation of sorting is closely related to the process of merging. The merging of two order table which can be combined to produce a single sorted table. This process can be accomplished easily by success, successively selected the records with the smallest key occurring by either of the table and placing this record in a new table. So, here is the merging example. Here we can see what is actually, what does a merging actually do? It divides the total array by a midpoint and goes on dividing until and unless those are single arrays those become as single arrays so here we have eight elements so by mid value of four it has divided the mid value is found as upper bound plus lower bound divided by two and here we got uh, the value as four so here same thing is again divided into to this four elements so it is again divided into two two arrays of element here again this two elements are divided into single elements now when they are single elements now we have to merge the elements by sorting it so for example here we have eight two nine four five 3, 1 and 6 as single elements. So, when we are merging it, what we need to do? We need to sort it and merge it. So, we are merging 8 and 2 
by sorting it first we will get 2 and then 8 again we will be merging 9 and 4 as 4 is lesser 4 will come to the front and then we have 9 again we are merging 5 and 3 3 will come to first and then 5 and 1 and 6 it is already in sorted form so we have written 1 and 6 again we will be merging two two sets of the elements so that is 2 8 and 4 and 9 so while merging it we will again sort it and merge it so we will get 2 first then 4 then 8 then 9 here we have 1 then 3 then 5 then 6 so finally when we are merging this four four element sets that is this is one sorted list this is one sorted list and we are merging two sorted list by again sorting it so finally we are sh getting a sorted array by using the merge sort so here by this sorted list we have got uh, one first then two then from this we have got three then from here we have got four and five and so on uh, forming a sorted list so this is how the shorting merge short works next we have the searching algorithm so we will be discussing about the searching operation and two types of searching operation in our next slide. This much for this slide. Thank you.